I've mixed up a batch of refractory. According to the recipe on backyard metal casting, and I put it in my put everything but the but the clay into the uh, five gallon drum here and uh, rolled it in the Harbor Freight cement mixer. Stuffed this in along with a uh, seat cushion. And the main goal here today is to find out what a measured amount of ingredients will produce in terms of a final result. Now we're supposed to mix the water into this mixture without the clay. Let me get a little closer. We're using betonite, southern betonite, instead of uh, instead of fire clay. And I have doubts about what this will do in terms of being a refractory. But according to the website, one of the websites I seen deft clay said that you could use said that you could use the uh, betonite in place of fire clay now a lot of other places people net wisdom says that's a bad idea but let's give her a shot and see what happens There isn't a specific amount of water in the recipe. This is the mold I'm going to be using. It's 10 by 13 and a half for three quarters and two and a half inches deep. And I definitely want a rammer.
Gonna see if we can persuade it. Zoom a little bit more a rectangular shape. That's pretty. Okay, that's it. Be right back. So, two and a half tall, 10 wide, that's 25. And if we go along here, we have uh, maybe six inches. So six times 25 is 150 cubic inches. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna cover, the, first I'm gonna wet it down. I'm gonna treat this like concrete at this point. I wanna keep it wet while it cures. So, ooh, wrong one. <clears throat> I don't dare try to get it out of the frame at this point. This will do nicely. Keeps it sealed up, a little weight on top of it. This worked pretty good, and it's been a great learning experience.